My name is John Harden, Forest Friends Ireland, and I am on the site of Santa Sabina Dominican College in Sutton, in North East Dublin. And out in front is Hoth Head. In front of me here is Santa Sabina Dominican College. Behind me is the church in Sutton. To my right is Dolly Mount, Dolly Mount Strand, Bull Island. Forest Friends are developing a nature garden further down, but as you can see, there's very little biodiversity and we are developing this nature garden to correspond to the UN International Year of Biodiversity 2010. Okay, here we are now at the edge of the Santa Sabina Dominican College lands. Behind me is the Bull Island or Dolly Mount Strand and Dublin City and Dublin Mountains, Dublin and Wicklow Mountains. In front of me are the sports facilities that have been developed for the school Santa Sabina and there's a sports hall and outdoor active recreation area. Here is landscaping associated with that development. And what we have here are plants that the landscape architects have planted that go into the conventional suburban garden, but also the wildflowers, the poppies. And these other wildflowers have been competing or competing with the conventional domesticated plants. And we hope that people will see this and we hope to transfer some of these wildflowers into our nature garden that Forest Friends are developing with the pupils of Santa Sabina College. Wherever you have soil uh, disturbed, anywhere practically, you will get poppies, the wild poppies will come up. Most gardeners detest the dandelion because it's what's called an ephemeral plant. It comes up three or four times in the year, usually early spring first. But it's very important from a wildlife point of view because it provides food in the spring for birds when it's coming up first and it also provides nectar for bees and butterflies. So this, which is the enemy for a lot of gardeners, is the friend of the nature garden person. Now, we're not experts on wildflowers, but we know what a wildflower is. It's a misplaced, a misplaced flower, a wild plant. It's in the wrong place, at least people think it's in the wrong place. So here we have what we call, I think is called Herb Robert. And it will grow in areas then which have been cleared. And it has magnificent col colours, colours of purple, lovely purple, light blue and purple colours. So these are the wildflowers that we'll have to rediscover. And instead of throwing them out, instead of getting rid of them, we have to bring them back in, bring them in from the cold and think about the nature, about looking after nature, looking after the earth, care for the earth, etc. So here we are in a suburban garden in, which is very close to the Bull Island, very close to Santa Sabina where we're working in nature. Here we have a pyramid orchid. Now people go to places like Bull Island and the Burren and places like that to see these flowers, these wildflowers, quite unique orchids growing in your garden. So this is what biodiversity is about, that these, the diversity of species, of plants, etc., that they are the things we have to protect. So we have to talk to Noel about how he can cut his lawn because people in suburban areas like to cut their lawns they like to have nice manicured lawns but if you cut the lawn you cut the plant so this is why we have to convince him Noel, the owner of this house not to cut it until the flowers die off and maybe not to cut it from say about March until about August each year to cordon off an area maybe so that people can come along and see these amazing plants. Here we have what's called a bee orchid. Also another quite a rare plant. We get it on the Bull Island and places like that. And the Bull Island is a, is a special area of conservation. Now, the reason why it's called a bee orchid is when you look at it there, you think there are bees on it. This is our nature garden, which we're developing in Santa Sabina. So here we have the garden and John and Jennifer, who are two intern students who are working here for the summer, they will explain in some detail some of the habitats that we have on the site. The project is called Hands-On Woodland Habitats. And you'll see that we have planted about 100 trees. 
They're young trees, but it will be a nice woodland when they develop. So we have lavender here, um, coriander and angelica, as well as chives. And there's various other ones like um, oregano, basil, and um, rosemary and thyme. Fresh herbs make all the difference when you're cooking and it's so easy to grow fresh herbs in your garden. You can grow them in your little window box if you don't have a big garden. And it just makes all the difference when you're cooking. It's so much better than dried herbs. Along with its practical purposes, uh, the herb garden helps provide uh, biodiversity for the overall woodland habitat project. Um, and it helps increase the amount of species, the varieties of species within the garden. Here we have the native oak, which supports between 500 and 600 uh, species of flora and fauna. It's in the garden because it is such an uh, important element of Irish ecology. And what happened to the oak? Uh, well, over the 9,000 years since the first Irish settlers to Ireland, um, the forest, native forests were um, cut down for timber agricultural purposes. Um, well, it's integral to the Irish um, ecological system. Why? Um, because it supports so many different species. It has symbiotic relationships with various flora and fauna, including the holly tree that is usually found beside it if the area hasn't been disturbed. Here we have another native species of tree, the mountain ash, also known as the roan tree. We have several of these planted in the garden to provide a vital food, so food supply for birds in the winter. Once these trees are mature, they will sprout an abundant supply of beautiful red berries in the cold winter months. The native hazel tree. And here we have birch. This is the caterpillar that becomes the tortoise shell butterfly. Here we have the eggs of the tortoise shell butterfly on the leaves of the, the nasturtium. There's some here and there's also some in here as well. 